Hi everyone, welcome to the news channel, my news channel, where I show news. We're having some quick news updates. Um, I've had a bit of a rough week, as you can tell by my not so shaven face, but I'm still I'm still decent enough that we're going to do some news. And it's important to do the news because no, I did not ruin DOS. It's important to do the news because some things have changed. What What's up, Misaki? You see nothing? You should see... No, it's not normal. Refresh your page. You're not going to get any news that way. And you hear nothing? Well... There. Refresh. So, first thing we're going to head on down to is YouTube, the thinking man's portion of the internet, and we're going to have a look at um, no work, help, I want my jukes, okay, have a look at some ads, I uh, will tell Misaki to hard refresh using control F5, um, if that doesn't work, restart X, that doesn't work. Uh, restart computer. That doesn't work. Restart. Uh, sorry. Reset your housebreaker. There. That should be enough. It's my advice. Good. Yes, we have a lot of ads because we haven't installed ad block. Um, so let's search up Planet Dinosaur game. And I played this on stream a while back. And maybe I'll show up in the recommendations. Who knows? You just can't tell. Um, imagine not having an ad block. Hey, Johnny, what's up? All right, Misaki, you go to the shitter or whatever. <laughs> Can I install ad block on stream? Fine. We'll install ad block. We're getting distracted. All right, so this one, browseadfree.com. Is this right? That's the top result. Uh, uBlock Origin. Opera? Should I install Opera? Come on, Johnny, get it together. Jojo, yeah. All right, so let's install uBlock Origin. And we'll just let that filter out. Wow. So browseadfree.com tells us to install Vert, uh, Brave. Thanks. I'm definitely not going to install Brave. <laughs> Look at this guy forks mouse. Okay. All right. So we shall refresh and other ads gone already. Anyway. Do you love your guy forks masks? No. So, I played Reading and Spelling Planet Dinosaur. Um, let's mute that. And it turns out this game had a pre-version that had more levels. So this game only had five levels. Um, you can see at the end how if we go forward a bit, you see like the end and there's five eggs. You only collect five eggs. Um, but there was a version called, uh, uh, I think it was called Jurassic World, um, reading and spelling Jurassic World. Uh, is this it? I'm not going to be able to find it. Okay. And that's because this game was scrubbed from the internet. Um, but I did find that it's actually in the Brisbane Library. So if we search up Brisbane Library catalog or whatever, and we search uh, uh, library catalog. What was your favorite math game as a child? I don't know. I liked playing Blockland. Why is it so bright? I have my windows barely open, so. Jurassic World. Um, turns out that's kind of popular. 
So let's search up reading and spelling. This isn't, this also isn't very helpful. Um, so you might just have to trust me. Play a Lego game? I used to play a Lego game. I'm not playing a Lego game. So we're going to search up, I guess it's called Trove. I don't know if Trove can search things up. Uh... All right, yeah, show cultural advice, please. Reading and spelling Jurassic World. Images, maps, books and libraries. Okay, I'm just not gonna find this unless I like, hang on, I'll use Google in another tab. All right. DuckDuckGo is not the best at finding things. Reading and spelling a Jurassic adventure. Oh, okay. So it's called a Jurassic adventure. It was a me problem. Pick the right one or you'll get canceled. Um, I don't want unnecessary cookies. So, um, from 2001 and I, I almost thought about asking um, someone in Brisbane to go grab a copy of this. But if we go to the comments of another video, you're Australian, say balls. Oops. So if we go back to here, we can see someone else's playthrough. And the comments have like a very interesting thing. Just wondering why there are only five levels. What happened to all the other missions, such as the Baryonyx and Mosararis missions? And then you find out that like there's a version that had a whole bunch, and the second version from 2002 has like five versions, five levels, and there's like no one really knows what to do about it. Apparently, someone had a copy. Um, and then Two weeks ago, um, someone uploaded an actual copy of the game. Um, wow, that is flashing way too fast. But is it going to show like the introduction or is this just the... This looks like it's just the intro, like to show stuff. Oh yeah, 15 huge educational levels. Have I ever felt the warm touch of a man? No. Don't fight in my chat or I will ban... I'll flip a coin and see who I ban. Okay, so this person uploaded it. And it should be in the description. Yeah, so you can go to this URL and download it and it's pretty cool. Um, I found this out because this person here, Fizzy, sent me a link to it on my video and it got flagged as spam because someone sent a random link to my video. Uh, in my comments, they sent a random link. And like a good person, I just opened the link and without virus scanning it, I opened it and checked that it worked. And it did. So, if you want to play this game, this is how you do it. Is it piracy? Look, I don't care. You can't buy the game. You can't even get a copy of it, right? I doubt they even care. Why would you virus scan anything? It's Linux. Okay. So that's the reading and you just bought it. No, you didn't. You lie it for $500. Anyway, now we get to the real news. Good price. <laughs> Getting ripped off like that. Um, there's been some development in the IAPX 432 um, scene. So I did this video a while back in July. And so like you only have these other videos, but this one came out a month ago. 
And this dude just casually has a whole bunch of these chips. The IAPX432 chips. And apparently he didn't know they were rare, and apparently he used them to make earrings for his mother at some point. Which is, you know, I don't like that. But there's also been other happenings. Rob him? No. Um, the other happenings is that a guy called I Am Not Steven actually has a HIS multi-box system that has an actual IAPX432 in it. It's very fancy. Do I not make earrings for my mother out of these chips? No. Anyway, this is super fancy. This is like the first picture of one of these systems on the internet. Um, it has the processor board. Um, you can see the, I believe, See, this is strange about this. I'll show you. These chips are socketed like this. I'm not sure if it wants to let me actually see the picture without having to zoom in. But this is apparently the IAPX432 board, but you don't... Like, the chips are... I think these are the chips. 43201, 43202 from 1983. And they're not the same chips that I just showed you, they're like, um, they're square for one. So that's fascinating in itself. What's so rare about them? Um, well, there's no known kind of working examples of it. Basically, Intel made a series of machines using these chips back in the 80s. Um, then it failed and then everyone forgot about it. And no one has kept any working copies of it. So, one issue with this machine in particular is the uh, interface processor is not working. That's not good. Um, so there's some RAM, a whole bunch of cool stuff. I looked up this company, HIS. Um, I found out about this by the guy actually commenting on my YouTube video. So if we go to my YouTube page um, and we go to my video about this, you'll see that the guy here is Vintage Computer Custodation and it was made by High Integrity Systems in the UK. I can't find anything about this on the internet. Um, they, 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 said they were building a hard drive emulator to image the drive and they seem to have done that because if you go back to their website um, they have a hard drive backup here and that came out this month so that's 13 days ago looks pretty cool they have some documents and what's most interesting to me at least is they have logs from the machine actually running. So if you open up this log, um, you can see that it's running the, uh, this is, I don't think this is the OS. No, um, that's the, that's some kind of side processor. This one should be the OS. Please just open it. No, this is not the OS. OS? There's like three OS's here. This is this should this chip should have failed. Why won't I say I love you? You haven't paid me money to. So is this the one that says it? I don't know. There's a lot of logs here. I think it was this one that definitely said it. Um let's search for HIS guess the animal. I'll show you the, um, the actual picture of it. This person connected it to their, I think, Plan 9 computer. Or maybe this is a Mac or something. I don't know. 
um, but they have pictures of actually using it. Um, apparently it does not actually boot up the, the system. There, MCTV version 1.1, 1 .1, 1984. That's pretty cool. Yeah, so that's interesting. Apparently these, you want ASMR? No, you're not getting ASMR. Um, so apparently all these people are going to be in contact with each other and maybe they'll do something cool and bring the machine back. Anyway, that's all the news. Uh, give me a second to change my stream info and we'll do some DOS programming.